Go to the Symbols panel in Illustrator, drag a symbol across. You'll notice it's a plus there, it's a dynamic symbol. So what you can do, you can just go over here to Direct Selection Tool, and you can just drag over this part, and you can select it. Now go to Properties, go down here to Fill, and you can change it in all kinds of different ways. Just run through the colors, maybe go to Stroke, maybe increase the stroke, maybe go for 18. Also change the color. Run through that and just change a number of things. Also you can modify the opacity, so you can reduce the opacity. Also, effects, just decide, you know what, I want to drop shadow for that effect. Quickly adds it there. What you can also do is select another part. So select that part, and then I can go to fill again, change the color there, so select a different color, run through those, maybe go to stroke, let's just increase it a lot greater than that, something like that. Click there, go down to width profiles, just select width profile. Also, you can apply effects. So I'm just gonna quickly go to effects. Maybe this time I'm gonna go for, say, blur and Gaussian blur, so I can blur it as well. Click OK. I can also select the inner part, and now you can see that's obviously green. I can change the color there as well. Maybe go for red. But also, I can go down here and to effects again. And this time I'm just gonna use distort and transform. So transform there. And I can turn around and say, well, let's just decrease the scale. So it makes it slightly smaller. Also, I can go for a move. But also I can say number of copies, so 10. So I can create a nice design like this. Click OK. I can also, of course, change the opacity, go there and say, you know what, I want difference there, so you can see the effect applied then. And you can change it in numerous ways using that, but still, all the time, this symbol, if I drag it over again, is totally unchanged. The only design that's changed is this one. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.